And welcome back to day five of the Bushwhackers, and we continue with this Thanksgiving week special of Emerald Curse, part five. Sit back, relax, enjoy, and as always, please like, comment, subscribe, help the channel grow. Thanks. In the clearing, Trejay looks at the lions. They're stunning him intensely when one of them bounds to the ground and approaches him. It sniffs JJ and then cowers back. The... uh... Wizard sent me. We heard you the first time around. Oh! Uh, right. Well... He's dead and my friends are in trouble. Can we, like, make a beeline to the witch's castle now? The lion turns away. Hey, in case you forgot, Dorothy's been turned into the new Wicked Witch of the West. And the last time I checked, you guys are supposed to be your friends. Ar aren't you going to do anything to help? The lion whimpers. Hello? Guys? The lion turns towards him. She's gone. Well, that's what the wizard said too, but... That doesn't mean we should try. Assuming we could, what happens? Dorothy's gone. The wizard's gone. The world we know it may soon face annihilation. Y yeah, look, I know y'all are cowardly and all, but pessimism is a new thing. Kid. Our, kid, our kind have been on the front lines, defending Oz for centuries. We fought the Serpent when he made the incursion, the Northern Witches, the Ice Stalkers, and the Falba. And in every instance, we did so without hesitation because in the end, we knew they were the enemy, and they meant our world harm. We didn't know then, but we knew their intent, and we wanted them out. We never hesitated for a second. Until now. Yes, until now. Even now, many of us hope that Dorothy will return, even if that belief is fading fast. Many of our friends and allies have been taken from us. The Tin Man. God, how I watched how he was torn apart and used as a model for that... abomination. The other lions hiss in response. Yeah, I know. Desecration and all. And the Scarecrow was burned in the process of being absorbed into the machine, a disembodied voice lost to the wind. Yeah, I, I get it. You're all alone and scared. Shit, we don't have time for this. As the lion slinks away, JJ looks around. Seriously? Is that it? I carried a dying wizard and watched him bleed out because he was trying to do what you wouldn't? He asked me to come to y'all because he believed even now you'd step up to the plate and do the right thing. Do what you've been doing for centuries. He turns away. So, I guess it's just up to me and two idiots to solve this. As usual. As JJ leaves, the lions merely look away in shame. A cub then bounds to the ground. Really? You are a sorry bunch. The lions roar in response. The biped is right. We used to be the front line of defense for this world. And now we're letting others fight and die, friends and strangers alike. Even the wizard who was our friend and protector gave his life doing what we've refused to do. I know a lot of you think Dorothy has gone and the witch is in full control. But we owe it to her and to the wizard to try. Even if the Tin Man and Scarecrow are gone, they did more to hinder her than we ever did. And even if we're alone, then we'll go down to the last cub. He turns to look after JJ. I'll go with the biped and reclaim the honor that we've cast off. If you're happy to live the rest of your miserable existence hiding in the shadows, that's on you. I'm going out in a blaze of glory. He bounds after JJ as the lions continue to contemplate on those words. 
As JJ is walking through the woods, he turns to see the cub. Well, I'm glad to see someone listen. I don't know if I reached anyone. Some of us are too set in our ways to do anything. But I went to bat for you. I did. Um, thanks. So, where to? Uh, the castle. We need to find my friends. Are they alive? I hope so. Last time I checked, they were on their way there to do something. Maybe try to get through the Dorothy or something. As he says this, he turns to see more lions arrive. The cub nods, and one of the elders nods in return. Oh, well. <laughs> now this is more like it. Well, let's get to it. As they traverse the landscape, JJ and the cub continue to talk. And so my friends believe there may be a way to save her, but the wizard was telling me that she's too far gone. Well, that may be true, but there may be an alternative. How do you mean? The wizard said there was nothing to be done. Well, the wizard does know everything. Anyway, from what you're telling me about your encounter, he was on his last leg and couldn't do much. Oh, well, right then who? The Scarecrow. He's an AI, so he has access to the tech that turned her into the new witch. If we can access him, he may be able to tell us how we can save Dorothy. Great! Where is he? In the castle. We'll have to get through the Tin Men and the Flying Monkeys along with Mercenaries and the Big Guns. But if we can do it, there's a chance he may be able to help us. Will he, though? I don't know, but it's worth a go. Back in the dungeon, the Tin Man's about to snap Lee's neck when Luca pulls out a cord, causing it to collapse. Lee lands on the ground, coughing as Luca helps him up. Y you took your time. Well, I had to see where the off switch was. When I couldn't find one. You improvised? Luca nods. He kneels down next to the body. Please don't go around toting that head around? No. It looks like they managed to reinstate the emotional inhibitor. What? Wanted to see if he remembered you? Lucas straightens up. I remember when I was at the console, there was a software running that monitored the Tin Man's vitals. A master computer? Or an AI. He grabs an axe. I think I may have an idea. They make it to the gallery to see it devoid of ten men. Lucas screws over to the console and looks around. Anything? Uh... Um... Well... He raises his axe. When in doubt... A lion bounds over and knocks him to the ground. Lee runs over and Luca holds the axe like a shield. Huh. Didn't know she had her grips in your mane. Alright, Blondie, let's you and me tango. The lion cocks its head when a familiar voice rings out. Guys, don't destroy the console. JJ? He runs over with the four other lions behind him. J JJ! You're alive! Y y yeah, why wouldn't I be? Well, this is a surprise. Where's that old fart? The wizard. The lions growl. Oh, um... C careful with that, Lee. The, um... The wizard's dead. Shit. So we're on our own, then. Well, not quite. The lions have a theory that there may be another way to save Dorothy. See, Luca, I told you. Luca here wanted a chopper in two with that axe. Yeah, to be fair... This is after my Tin Man army ran off after being electrocuted. You had a Tin Man army? Briefly. Alright, go and do your thing. The cub walks over to the computer and presses a pad. A screen pops up and a face appears. Welcome! I am Ray, your friendly interface. Ray, can you hear me? Affirmative. Allow me to accommodate myself a bit. A hologram appears on the console. Ah. Much better. Ugh. 
Never did like being boxed in. Oh, for all. My dear boy, good to see you. In strangers? Well, are we living in exciting times? JJ walks over. Um, excuse me, Mr. Scarecrow? Oh, call me Ray. Oh, right, Ray. The wizard brought us here to help free Dorothy. Excuse me. What? We were actually brought here on purpose? Shh! And the wizard told us there was no way to save Dorothy from the witch. But I was told otherwise. Y you may have a solution. Hmm. That is the quandary, isn't it? Well, gentlemen and lions... The truth is that over three years, four months, and five days, the witch's consciousness has gained enough dominance over the body to reshape it. However, because our dear Afalba has been doing this at an accelerated rate and has exerted a tremendous amount of effort into maintaining bodily control, it is increasing the rate of cellular damage. So what does that mean? He's saying that the witch is trying to adapt someone's body into her own and is destroying it. I mean, basically they're remodeling the house but destroying the structure at the same time. Precisely. Now, I have posited that if Dorothy were to regain control of her body, she may need to... She may be able to halt the process temporarily. But even then, the rate of cellular damage is at 90% with no possible hope of recovery. And what about stasis? Ah, well, what can that do? There is no way to reverse the process. But we can slow it down... Yes. Suchek, you do realize that putting her in stasis doesn't solve the problem of cellular degeneration immediately, right? Yeah, I, I got that. But maybe it will give us time to figure out a way to reverse it, right? Perhaps in the next 50 to 100 years. Great. So all this for nothing. Well, I... I wouldn't be so pessimistic, my young friend. They all look at him. Theoretically, if I can merge with the chip, I could destroy the witch's persona and, with time, unravel the cables from her brain. The only issue is that given the longevity the chip has been in her, the cables have extended from the chip, they may have embedded themselves into her neural system. But there's no telling just how much damage they could have caused. And that will... what? Well, for starters, it'll definitely put Dorothy back in the driver's seat. It can also give you more detailed examination to the extent of the cellular damage. But if you can unravel the cables from her neural network, could you possibly repair her cells? Alas, there are limits to even what I can do. If saving her means freeing her from the witch's control, that is something that can possibly be achieved. Everyone looks crestfallen. Victory sometimes has to be measured in small batches, my friends. No one ever said we would achieve them all in one go. Lee nods understandably at this comment. And yet you can do it? Yes. However, it will be time-consuming and there's no guarantee that it could actually work. Not to mention what sort of damage it could cause minus the existing cellular degeneration. But it's worth a shot. How do we get started? At this there's an explosion and a tin man storms in. Intruder. Intruder. Recommend immediate terminate. One of the lions rips his brain case out. Quickly, upload me into its CPU. Jinja drags the tin man to the console where they connected to the mainframe. The tin man's eyes glow green and he stands up. Oh, wow! <laughs> this I miss very, very much. Woo! It feels so good to swing my arms around again. Ooh, look here. I'm gonna do a backflip. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna do it. It's great you're in a body again, Ray. But you were saying something earlier. Oh, right, right. <laughs> I can short-circuit the chip at the base of Dorothy's brain, cutting off access for the witch to do any further harm. Uh, this will give Dorothy enough time to regain control of her body. 
what about removing the chip itself? Uh, well, that in itself is another concern. The chip is positioned in a way that it could possibly cause irreparable damage. Luca here can remove it. I'm sorry, what? Oh, you're a surgeon. God, no. Well, even if you were the most talented surgeon in the multiverse, it wouldn't do her any good. Unless you were able to go down to the micro level and manually and painstakingly remove each and every cable embedded in the neural network. Assuming you could remove it, there's still the cellular damage. We can slow down with a regimen of treatment, but... She has days. Optimistically speaking. So, do we have a plan? You're going to need to distract the witch long enough for me to sneak in and merge with the chip and cut off the witch's access. That should separate the two personas. Lee picks up the axe. We'll give you your distraction. How long do you need? 40 seconds should suffice, but... There's always a but, isn't there? I will need to get close to the witch. Ah, no problem. He walks over to the console. Oh, allow me. He remotely shuts off the emotional inhibitor. I so enjoyed your speech the other day. I've never, any, I've never heard anything so moving in years. All right, the ten men should be coming to their senses in a few minutes. All right, let's go. The party screws to the throne room, which has been rebuilt, to find the witch smiling at them. Fools. At this, the flying monkeys burst in. The lions cower, but the cub turns around. Now, brothers, show them what you can do, sisters! The lions charge at the monkeys, while Lee and Luca charge the witch, who flicks them away. She holds them to the ground with enchantments. You know, I could tear your innards out one by one. Turn you into fodder for my soldiers. Well, you could, but I wouldn't taste so good. She turns to him. You! You killed Grokon, my faithful lieutenant! You rallied my ten men against me! You who brought down my castle! You! I shall torture first! Oh! Well, <laughs> don't I feel honored. As she raises her hand, the scarecrow walks behind her and jams a needle into the base of her skull. She screams and rolls to the ground. Lee and Luca slide to the floor as the Scarecrow looks up. Alright, I'm in. Wish me luck. Luca gets up and scurries out of the chamber. Gigi follows him. Luca, where are you going? Oh, I saw a glowing orb in the armory on the way up here. Oh, good god, you're not going to... Well, that's what I do, right? Luca? Yeah? Be careful. Get the lines and the ten men out of here. Take the battles of the fields. When I set that orb off, you don't want to be in the sucker. Right, right. <laughs>